Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to apply sentiment analysis using Twitter data. So we'll extract the Twitter data by connecting to Twitter and we'll apply sentiment score on every tweet. So the prerequisites for this, we need to install Python 3.60 v1 package. Then you need to install uh, by using pip, 3b package, nltk, and python package. Right. So I'm launching my uh, IDLE and opening my script here. So here, uh, initially, I'm going to be download. I'm going to be import nltk json packages. Then from 3p package, we need to import stream o authentication handler, stream listener, and sentiment intensity analyzer. So if you are running this very fast time, we need to uh, download latest version of the lexicon. So to connect your Twitter data, we need to create a developer account and then an app that will give you uh, keys in your Twitter. So th those keys you need to place here to connect to Twitter in the runtime. So for the authentication purpose, we need to uh, apply authentication handler then uh, by passing your API keys. Then uh, by using Twitter stream, I'm going to be call my stream here, then authentication to connect to the Twitter. And here I'm going to be call my read underscore data class. So this read underscore data class uh, by using stream listener that will import all your Twitter data, right? So here by using on underscore data method, I'm trying to take self and a data as inputs so the data will going to have all your Twitter data that will have uh, in a JSON format, which will be uh, having many columns. So from those columns, I'm going to be extract only text column, which is nothing but the tweet. So whatever the tweet I uh, have taken here, I'm going to be encoding into ETF8 format, then there are any errors trying to ignoring them, right? So once the data, your tweet data is available in text underscore data, I'm going to be use my sentiment score by using sentiment intensity analyzer, applying scores on your Twitter data, right? So then uh, when the text data is ready and when your scores are ready, then printing your text data and printing the sentiment score of every tweet. So here I'm limiting my uh, tweets to three four only for that I'm giving passing three here. So initially passing n equal to zero when uh, it is uh, moved to three, four, that is going to be fail. So I'm not going to return all the data. I'm going to analyze my sentiment analysis for a particular keyword here. So for that, I'm going to be passing a keyword here, cricket, that will retry only cricket tweets and apply sentiment analysis on every tweet and give you Accordingly. So I'm trying to executing this one and it's connecting to Twitter now. See here, just to try it off first tweet. And if you can have a look at here, scores, the negative score, neutral score, positive score and compound score. So what is the negativity of this particular tweet? What is the neutral score of this particular tweet? What is the positive score of the tweet? And what is the compound score? Compound will be calculated based on your three scores like negativity, neutrality, and positivity. This will be vary from minus one to plus one. Minus one will treat as high negativity, plus one treat as highly positivity on your tweet. So for every tweet, you can it will calculate negative, neutrality, positivity, and compound. So this is how you can extract the data and apply sentiment score on your Twitter data. Let's say, for example, if you want to uh, change this number to 10, see here that will go ahead and print 10 tweets along with the volatility scores. Right. See, that's still printing. So that will take some more data until uh, 11 tweets. It will print. It's going on still, still going on, right? So 
see that printed 11 tweets along with the 